Okay, welcome back to Watch Dogs. I currently have a different outfit because I went off and bought an outfit as I was coming back for the Let's Play, and then I was like, wait, am I even recording? Oh, and so now we're here, but we're gonna go ahead and jump into the Way Off the Grid mission, whatever the hell that means, and get inside. But before we do that, uh, I do want to note that I currently, okay, you play doesn't want to open up, but currently, I do not have internet, so I probably will 100% likely not get hacked at all. Okay, maybe 99%. I don't know if they have, like, off offline specific hackings. Uh, I know that if you're- ooh, fucking coat's always freaking out. But, like, in Dark Souls, if you're playing an offline only mode, they'll send dark spirits after you in exchange. And I don't know if Ubisoft is smart enough to do something like that, but they did the first time we had an online hacking thing, it was a fake hacker, so that'd actually be kind of cool. I wish they would do that, so you'd actually have like a little bit of a chance to mess with offline hackers and mess with online hackers, uh, but most likely it's not going to happen, so I guess we'll just focus down on the story and all the side missions and stuff like that. Everything all right? Uh, I didn't get much. The upload was cut off. Oh, shit. I knew it. Okay. I have to find a way. She doesn't look myself. all right. Are I'm you just crazy? saying. Even if you did get inside there, we can't read it. It's encrypted. Well, what am I supposed to do? Damien has Nikki. Just tell him he can keep her. Of course not. Of course, I'm not saying that. But he's playing you. Yeah, I'm not going to give him this before I know what it is. Damien cannot be trusted. I know that. All right, well, let's just, let's just deal with one problem at a time, all right? If I can get this information, can you decrypt it? No, it's way beyond my skill. Then who then? Hey, what about that, uh, that crazy guy, uh, Tobias, he used to work here. Okay, that's where we start then. Okay, but we need to be discreet. I know how to be discreet. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. Wow? Raymond Kenny. Hey, I've heard that name. It has to be him. He was a software engineer hired for the CTO startup. He created the encryption. The creator always has. Wait, he can decrypt it? Kenny is crazy good. I bet he built this room. He's a genius. No, no. I mean, a legend. I'm guessing legends aren't easy to find. He's way off the grid. No one's heard of him in over a year. Uh, he's lurking somewhere. And because the plot calls okay. for it, it's gonna be really Everyone convenient to find him. Online. We start there. We get Kenny's last known point and work backwards. He's been gone over a year. This could take a while. There. He's covered his tracks very well, but he's bound through one location a few times. So we trace it back and we find his location? In theory, yes. You need to reach that point and connect me to the computer. I'll run a search from the bunker. And we'll have Kenny. See? Alright, well, let's get out of here through our own little bunker exit, which is so inconvenient. We need to, like, just have a door installed on this damn warehouse. You know, one that can only be unlocked through... Hey, 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 I almost called him Adrian. Um, Aiden's phone, you know? Something specifically coded to that. Like, a, like with a password, although I guess that wouldn't be trustworthy, but fucking... <laughs> if someone knows we're here, they're gonna know we're here, right? They'll just go up to this one container that says Bloom. No other containers, I'm making a big assumption here, but no other containers here say Bloom. <laughs> so, yeah, that one's just kind of really suspicious. Well, let's call for a ride. Oh, right. Nothing good in life is available during missions. Because apparently Jordy is incapable of giving us stuff when real shit's going down. But if you want to go ahead and drive into civilians, ah, he's your man. And well... I guess we'll just drive an SUV over there. <laughs> That's not suspicious. If we find Kenny, 
You need to be careful. He's a very dangerous man. Dangerous, huh? What's his story? He's a Bloom whistleblower. Or a cyber terrorist. Depends on who you ask. Delivered his message by blacking out most of New York City. I remember that. 2003. Not just New York, that was most of the Northeast. Killed a couple of people. He killed 11 people. They called it a software error. What the hell was his message? Kenny was trying to warn everyone. He didn't trust people inside Blue. But I don't think he expected anyone to die. Now, he's in hiding. And we're about to find him. The place you're going is the very end point of Raymond's last signal. Hackers hide their locations by routing their packets through botnets. Yeah, it's a good trick. I've tried it myself. He's probably bounced his signal all across the globe. We'll have a problem if that signal ends in China or some faraway country. But it won't. He's here. I don't care if he's gone off the grid. If this is Kenny's ex bloom something tells me he wants to stay close to the action. Maybe. But if he really was in Chicago, why has he been so quiet? He's not a kind of guy to just sit back and watch. You said he killed those people. Must be a pretty price on his head. Good reason to stay underground. How come everybody related to any kind of incident still in is still in Chicago? The world is fucking huge! He could just be in the city next over, he could still be relatively close to the action. You know? Cities aren't that far away. I could drive across five different cities within like a 30 minute- well, okay. Within like an hour time span. And with the advanced nature of the internet, which I'm pretty sure the best hacker engineer in the world would know about. He could just keep track of things online, and then if things are going down, they require him to be nearby. Oh, I could use that train. If things that require him are nearby, he could just drive there. But then again, people could track him. Well, fuck it, people could track him down if he tries to do anything here anyways. I'm just saying. I mean, I guess there are benefits to staying underground in a place that, you know, not a lot of people are going to find you at. Oh, damn. But I just feel that we've got way too many characters in this game that are, like, hiding out in really convenient places. Shut up! I'm not closing. I still want to get on it. If I can manage... Oh! Oh! Yes! Okay. I decided to get on the boat because I was like, yeah, you know what? A boat can probably get me over there. But then I noticed the train, and I was like, oh, I probably won't be able to get as far as I want to. Although it's interesting that you have this, like, big-ass canal over here. Hello! If any of you have money, I'm going to be stealing it from you. Survivalist, drug test volunteer, uh, builds model cars, O's bookmaker. Okay, well, none of you are really interesting, except for the survivalist chick. I want to... Does, does that mean she knows about... Surviving? Does she know about being able to go into the woods and just surviving on your own piss? Not that I would ever want to survive on my own piss, but it could be a handy thing to know about. Not that I believe any kind of apocalyptic things are ever going to happen, but... Uh, you could never be too prepared for bad things happening. Now, I could have just kept going. But it's only 200 meters away, so fuck it, I'll just jump out. Is this too far away? I think we will have. Yep, yeah, that was easy. Okay. So I'll just take the nearest car, maybe hack this guy. Ooh, yeah, system keys. And let's get a move on. Ooh. Yes. My favorite track in the entire game is this one. We might have a problem. Eh? I'm picking up a lot of chatter about Rem and Kenny. That's strange timing. You said this guy's been dark for a year. I think we might have alerted someone when I found Rem and Kenny. Whoa! So we have company waiting for us. All right. We might have more than just a little company waiting for us. I just heard fucking fireworks, yo. Music, you don't fit the situation. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, yep, we got trouble. We got trouble. Didn't expect this. Oh, jeez. We're sending someone out. A tech guy, I guess. Going closer. Ah, uh, nice hiding behind the wall, but it was still a foolish mistake. Need better cover. Yeah, you fucking do. 
Or I could just miss all my shots and shoot you in the knee. Shit. Someone's on to us, Clara. Let's make this quick. What am I looking for? Connect me to the computer. I'll run a search from the bunker. What computer? Oh. That computer. You mean this computer has been running for like a year's time. Because if this was just off... If the building didn't have power, we would never have been able to come here, so that's just really convenient. Whatever. Alright. Wow. Old school shit. No wonder good cops can't shut the club down. Damn, how many things are you uploading, pal? Everything, apparently. Clara. It's online. Oh, boy. Oh god, I have to do- I have to do a waiting thing? Okay. I've got a little bit of FPS issues right now, but you know what? That's tough tits to me. I gotta deal with this situation. Oh, please don't hit me! Hey, an explosive barrel, huh? Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god! Montreal, New York. I'd like to blow more things up. That'd be nice, yes. Let me get into a camera. Maybe I can get in the camera. I'd like that, thank you. What could I explode? Ooh, yes, you fool. Damn, there's nothing around him. That's alright, I'll just use bullets. There you go. Not everything has to be explosive, guys. But that doesn't mean I can't use my own explosives. We've got it. It's still going. Damn. Alright, fine. I'll just do overkill on everybody. There we go. I wonder if I black out the area. <laughs> if it'll stop the hack. Whoa. Stop. I tried to shoot his backpack through the wall, it didn't work. Is that the last one? Oh, I need an extra special way to kill him. Uh... Hundreds of IEDs! I'm just hoping this doesn't end up landing next to me somehow. God damn! Oh, wow, it's because- okay, depth perception's a bitch. I thought that pillow was way the hell over next to him. Hey, there you go. Uh, Money. It's the best you could come up with, right? I better wipe the hard drive. I don't want anyone else tracking Kenny. Oh, well, all right. Do you want me to blow it up, or do you just want me to press C on it? Because blowing it up might be a little bit better. Although you can do both. Yeah. Wipe the drive and then explode it. Shit, it's taking off. Guy's gotta lead on Kenny. Can't do some running. So they get in a fire truck? They can't find Kenny. You can't let them. Okay, alright. I'll shut them down. Hurry. Shit. I I I need to take out this guy in an extremely fast manner. But he's inside of a truck, and he's already got a big fucking head lead. Alright, so I'll just get to- I'll get directly behind them and start blasting him with the destroyer. You know how this shit works. Alright, good enough. Let's go. Yeah! Woo! The guy didn't even fucking last. Now he's got a friend. So I've got to finish taking him out. <laughs> there we go. Kenny signal identified. 
Oh, all right. Well, how am I gonna get over there? Kenny or er, Pawnee's pretty far away, so I'll probably just teleport around, or I could get on a train. Just ride a train over there. I got what I need. We're ready. You're actually going after Ray Kenny. I can't believe we found him. I haven't found him yet, but we're close. He might not even help, you know? If he decrypts those files, he's exposing himself. This guy was a whistleblower. You said those files had blackmail on Bloom. There was blackmail on everyone. I think an ex-Bloom radical would find that hard to resist. When you find Ray Kenny, what do you have to offer him? We've seen what happens when we dig. If he helps us decrypt those files, he's exposed. I'll find something. There's a reason he's hiding. Here. He turned against Bloom, exposed their abuse. I can work with that. You're going to threaten him? No. A whistleblower wants justice. He may be looking for a cause. I can West definitely give him a ride shortly. Okay. Well, I'm waiting for a train to come. What the hell am I doing? All right. We're gonna... There, no train goes up there. Hmm. Yeah, so it's a good idea that I'm not actually about to go through with it. I figured I could get on a train and just ride from down here straight all the way to the top, but now that I've realized that that would be a dumb idea, we'll just... lament about the fact that we can't fast travel there again. Come on! <laughs> Why? Oh, at least we can get close and use a boat. Boats are always good. Let's see, go ahead and put down a marker. And now we're gonna steal us a boat. What? Hello, partner. Uh. I was just chatting with Nikki here. Saucy girl. You touch a hair, and I'll snap your neck. Don't surprise your siblings. She's a hothead like you. Why are you calling? She's wondering if you're coming to collect her. I said I'd check. I found someone who can decrypt the data. I'm all ears. His name's Raymond Kenny. An old CTOS developer. He's in Pawnee. I'm heading there now. Well, that is news. But I'm gonna use my veto here. What veto? He created the encryption. Raymond Kenny is also a whistleblower. He's gonna unlock all those juicy files and put them on the goddamn news. You know what secrets are when they hit the news? Worthless. I'm warning you. Find another way. There is no other way. You want this done, you need to get off my back and let me do it. Why'd you even tell him that much information? He's after the blackmail in those files. What's his game? What's he planning to do? Alright, tell him to distract me. Kenny's the answer. He'll help me decrypt everything. And I'll get Nikki safe. I wish Ubisoft would raise up the fucking voice volume a little bit in their games. You know? It's like everything else is really loud, but then the people talking are just fucking really quiet. I can understand trying to balance out the voice and be like, well, it's not like he's talking directly into your ears, but I'm like, fuck it, I don't care. Make him sound like he's talking directly to my ears. Especially when he's talking in his own head. He wasn't saying that shit out loud. We've looked at him plenty of times to confirm that when he's not on the phone or talking with someone in person, he's monologuing to himself because he does that a lot. So, fucking a monologue should be just as loud as this goddamn fucking engine, if not louder, in my opinion. I don't know, a lot of game developers seem to think that, you know, in an open world game, you want to hear the sound of your car engine more than you want to hear the sound of people talking. And that is a lie. I want to hear him talk, but at least we have subtitles. That's what subtitles are for. Alright, thank God for boats. Yeah, I could have driven over here, gone through that really sad tunnel of memories, but... What about that? I'm gonna drive to... I guess... Would it still be technically driving? I'm gonna sail my ass all the way over here. And... Dock? By giving them a free boat. Alright, fellas, enjoy. Use it for fishing, something, I don't know. I don't know who used it for whatever. No apology. No, not really, because everyone here is an apprentice illusionist. So you guys are all fake. Oh, there's a crime right here, so why not deal with it? Alright, who's a victim and who's a criminal? Is it someone near the horsey ride? No. Oh, shit. Shit. 
shit, shit, hey, shit, yo, shit, yo, shit. Don't want none of this. Ah! I'm so tired of you people! If you're gonna do a fucking crime, looking at someone nearby you isn't gonna dissuade you from doing it. Send them as fast as you can. Hello, I need to stay on the line. All right, all right. You're in control here. I'm not gonna fight you. God, I'm, I'm glad you're smart. Jeez. I don't know, man. If you if you go out and you're like convinced that you want to go kill somebody, you're not gonna turn around because a dude in a fucking trench coat is like casually walking by. Now, if I was like right up in his face, I can understand if he's like, "Oh no, don't want to do this now." But I'm like just I'm just nearby. There are fuckloads of people who are just nearby, so I think that's bullshit. I think it's bullshit. He's fucking doing it in the public. If he had been if he had been in an alley, I'd understand that too. But he wasn't in an alley. Oh, hey, talking moose. I don't get it. There's some kind of species language barrier. I don't get it. No, that sounds lame. Nope, already heard it. This sounds like just droning. Perfect for drinking. Let's drink to droning. Who's who's the person who does the drinking? Hey! A raving rabbit toy! <laughs> the people just, like, vocally go, Oh, God, I can't believe this shit. Hey. Hi, I'm gonna buy a beer, because I don't know where the drinking game is. Enjoy the merchandise. Uh-huh. Just gonna take a quick swig. Gulp. Alright, we're good. That's it. That's how I increase my focus. 